Hebrews chapter 1 Long ago God spoke many times and in many ways to our ancestors through the prophets. But now in these final days He has spoken to us through His Son. God promised everything to the Son as an inheritance, and through the Son He made the universe and everything in it. The Son reflects God's own glory, and everything about Him represents God exactly. He sustains the universe by the mighty power of His command. After He died to cleanse us from the stain of sin, He sat down in the place of honor at the right hand of the majestic God of heaven. This shows that God's Son is far greater than the angels, just as the name God gave Him is far greater than their names. For God never said to any angel what He said to Jesus, You are my Son. Today I have become your Father. And again God said, I will be His Father, and He will be my Son. And then when He presented His honored Son to the world, God said, Let all the angels of God worship Him. God calls His angels messengers swift as the wind and servants made of flaming fire. But to His Son He says, Your throne, O God, endures forever and ever. Your royal power is expressed in righteousness. You love what is right and hate what is wrong. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you, pouring out the oil of joy on you more than on anyone else. And... Lord, in the beginning you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you remain forever. They will wear out like old clothing. You will roll them up like an old coat. They will fade away like old clothing, but you are always the same. You will never grow old. And God never said to an angel, as he did to his son, Sit in honor at my right hand until I humble your enemies, making them a footstool under your feet. But angels are only servants. They are spirits sent from God to care for those who will receive salvation.